Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive video. Today we're going to show you very briefly how you can use the brand new toggle headers inside of Notion. This is going to be a fairly short video. Just before we begin you can check out our more recent courses on Tool Academy. We've got a range of them, some free, some paid and they're all available with a 20% discount right now. So if you go to a new page inside of Notion there's a new feature and it's a very small feature, but something that really adds a layer of um, depth to creating new toggles. You know, before you can create a toggle, and as you can see, this is the toggle that appears. And as you can imagine, you can start typing away. One thing that was sort of a bit of a pain with it was, say for example, you wanted to, you know, make more of a page out of this toggle. Because some people like to have hidden stuff away inside of a toggle. For example, if I said like FA and I started going inside that toggle and editing, well, now you can basically turn this into a toggle header. And there's, there's three versions of it. There's the three headers you have inside of Notion. So if I go to heading three, it comes out a lot bolder. And if I, you know, turn it into a, a heading one, so go down to here, heading one, that's a nice bold one. It's a very subtle change, but it does make a lot of difference when it comes to, especially when you're presenting pages to other people. That's a very small thing, but a very nice thing at the same time. So below you could naturally have all of the regular questions. You could even still have toggles in your toggles like you could before, uh, but it just adds that layer of improvement to uh, a standing page that you might be sharing publicly. Hopefully this was a just helpful overview of how the new toggles work. Very simple feature. Notion have been really fixing those small things. If I've got a table database and I want to do say like habit tracking for next year, you know, brand new year, might want to habit track. And I've got a checkbox. I could say like, okay, this is the Monday checkbox. This is the Tuesday checkbox. Well, what I can do if I go and choose that one as a checkbox, I can now narrow this down to all the way to as thin as it gets because before you could limit it to the extent of how big the property title was but now you've got unlimited squeeze you can squeeze it to as, as much as you want which means you can not only get more checkboxes in but it just looks neater and more uh, sort of practical uh, in everyday situations so that's a nice new addition and they're fixing loads of these small sort of situations so you can get the new toggle headings one, two, and three, and as you can see, pretty easy to get started with. Thank you very much, folks. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Cheerio.